to the country of Georgia, where protesters have been calling for the prime minister to resign over the death of a journalist. Alexander Leskarava worked for an independent television news channel. He was found dead at his home on Sunday after he was badly beaten by a far-right activist during a protest against an LGBTQ pride march in the capital, Tbilisi. Attacked for doing his job, now found dead. Cameraman Alexander Lashkarava was beaten by right-wing mobs while covering an anti-LGBTQ riot. The exact circumstances of his death are still unclear. Thousands have taken to the streets in solidarity with the journalist. Angry protesters accuse the government of enabling the violence. We hold the government directly responsible for failing to provide security for the journalists and therefore we believe that resignation of the prime minister and the government is the only response that will be satisfactory to the Georgian society in these circumstances. It's a very clear and precise message. Uh, the government that has organized pogroms by the radical groups specifically targeted to the, to, towards journalists and has uh, multiple uh, people who are damaged and now one, uh, one dead has to resign. Last week, rioters attacked the LGBTQ campaign offices in Georgia's capital, Tbilisi. Lashkarava was there and filmed the attackers. Around 50 journalists were injured. Lashkarava's death has further inflamed tensions, and more demonstrations are expected. And uh, just moments ago, uh, we had the opportunity to catch up with Zura Abbasidze. He is a Georgian writer and LGBTQ activist. And we began our conversation by asking him if he feels that the Georgian government is complicit in what happened to Mr. Lashkarava. I say kind of one has to lose main focus and switch to another direction where there is only collapse and clash between Georgian people. This is the only way for government to make us blind and hide how Georgian people struggle with low economy, with injustice. They want to make us blind for not to see corruption we have in our country. And this is so sad that they are choosing minority and LGBT people to hide their weakness. So what's it like? Can you describe for our international viewers, you're also a writer yourself, what's it like being a member of the media or a, a writer in uh, Georgia? Can you, without uh, fear for life, uh, conduct uh, your, uh, your job? Yeah, like those past few days was super hard for everyone, especially people of LGBTQI community. Me, for example, I'm staying at home most of the time. Going out without friends or without any people is not safe anymore. If you look like different or like if you're wearing some like earrings or like, I don't know, they would find any reason to like beat you in the streets. We all scared and we all started to think about leaving our country, especially like uh, journalists, like writers and uh, many other people pro from like uh, uh, art or like media, because we don't see any future for minority in Georgia. But this is not, this is hard because one of the main statements from people from far right movement for lesbian, gay, bi, trans plus community is to leave Georgia for good or hide in a closet. Zura Abbasidze, uh, Georgian writer and LGBTQ activist. Sir, thank you so much for joining us and, and sharing your uh, views with us. We appreciate it. Thank you.